there. Welcome back to PSP channel Collector Weakness Guide. If you haven't checked yet, these are our previous collector record. This time is our fifth collector weakness guide, and we will help you save yourself against Balio, another new killer collector. Before we begin, I would like to promote my upcoming Asians Online Tournament. Please join my Discord to check your participation detail. Thank you. Balio is a character that's strong at middle distance. He has good lead and good frame. He also has various version of fireball. And lastly, he could parry opponent fireball from distance and instant move to them right away. This character is one of the most dangerous character to fight without sufficient knowledge of him, and that's the reason we are here for you. First, he lacks overhead attacks. Value or neutral are either low or mid attacks. He can access to overhead attack other than jump or doing the regular 3 hit combo, which everyone can do. Those are very easy for you to react against. So, by knowing this, you can reduce his pressure to minimum by a way stay on low blocking against him. This is the first priority against value. Second, dealing with his parry and command gap at the same time. Balio has similar catwalk motion that could be either command grab or parry. This is totally a noob killer move. See, despite you can check his hand, either he pull up or pull down as distinguished. Then again, no doubt it's hard. I'm into the The real issue is that if he is using this while pressuring you, you may not have enough time to react to his hands. Therefore, we recommend you with the simplest way to deal with this by standby low guarding. Stay focused and be prepared. Whenever you see him start catwalk, you press 2L low sword attack instantly. Doesn't matter anymore if he's doing parry or the command grab. If he does the command grab, you punish him from your jab into combo. If he parry, you can instantly go back to block it and end up with plus fame on you. Basically, it's become your turn to go for offensive next. So, this is win-win situation for you. There is also ultimate version. With this fight, you could also deal it with the same strategy. But if you manage to just jump backward, he will whoop his gap with big negative frame. So, you can punish him with even bigger combo. Third, knowing his DP. His DP is little weird with two attack animation. This makes it easy target for your anti air after you block the first part. You could also wait until blocking his down attack before punishing him too, but his inversion will give him plus fame. So, you only do this when you see him with golden aura or blue aura for heavy or ultimate version. Luckily, his inversion doesn't have anti-air property, so it's simply just an attack lure to get plus fame. So, it's very weak. You can counter it with anything. However, regardless of any version, if you do the anti-air to counter this second part, then it's the way working. Valio has very powerful combo. If you get eaten by his corner combo, it is possible to even one shot you on no bad condition. However, in general, his makeup is a bit laxer. If you keep blocking low, as I mentioned in the first part, the next thing you want to learn is his frame tap and his O kick. The first makeup you see is when he try to lure you concentration on blocking his projectile, and then he can use that chance to command gap you. 
Actually, this is a mind game. If you see this often, then you can let your jab after you block his projectile, then punishing it. Next is his Oki. You will see this after he finish his combo. He may sometimes use his ultimate attack with guard deck property on you to gain his plus fame. This attack is dangerous and not easy to evade if Balio timing it correctly. So, my recommendation is to save your parry attack or DP for this situation. Trying any other stuff may likely cost you more. Disclaimer, this guide is based on the current state of the game and player habit at the time of publishing. Please note that the future update patch or change in player behavior may affect the accuracy of the information provided. Always stay updated with the last head game chain for the most accurate strategy and tips. Alright, so that's all for me. I hope this is informative and enjoyable for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please feel free to comment it. I may not be a pro player myself, but I'm good at analysis. And I think I can help you learn basic matchup and punishable on each character. Be sure to click like and subscribe if you want more Ganbo VS Lysing tutorial in the future. I also have this card if you're interested. See you next time!